Hello, it's Dan Webster here, the head professional at St Anne's Olympics Golf Club. Today I'm going to have a little look at the new G400 versus G400 Max driver. Okay, so G400, it's been out for a while, great club, performing brilliantly. Again, Ping have gone for the Dragonfly technology on the crown again. Turbulators are still relevant, we know that. The thing is they've brought out the G400 Max, it's a bigger footprint version. G400 is only 440 centilitres, G400 Max 460, it's a bit bigger bit more forgiving, that's the key. Both of these clubs have got this forged face. It's a very thin forged face. The idea of that is it flexes to give more ball speed. We've also got, still got the turbulators which apparently give you a better aerodynamic flow. I'm not sure if I 100% agree with that, but they are there and obviously they've been scientifically proven. The dragonfly on the top, that, the idea of that is to reduce weight from the top of the club, so it maximise weight distribution around the head, the tungsten weight and the sole again, high MOI. The thing about the Ping G400, we've known already it is forgiving, the G400 Max seems to be going even further that way. In the G400 model there is a low spin and a draw enhancing model, in the Max it's just Max, one off. What I'm looking to do today is to give it a rip, see how it compares against G400. You might be thinking about buying one of these products. You might be looking into the purchase of a new Jing, Ping, new Jing, a new Ping driver, and you fancy the Turbulator. Now, the best thing I suggest is get custom fitted, but I'm just going to give you a little insight into how they perform for me. I'm a 100 mile an hour swinger of a golf club. My average distance is around 260, so maybe my swing speed might relate to you. What we're going to do, we're going to hit a handful of shots, first of all with G400, then I'll switch over, a few shots with G400 Max, and then come back to the desk, have a little look at the numbers and see, is there a difference? Let's crack on. So we're going to start off with G400. As always, when you're getting custom fit, ideally use the balls you play, especially if in a studio like this. Ask for the balls that you play are balls similar to give you more accurate readings. I'm using GC2 with HMT. Let's give this a rip. So G400 first of all. Okay. Okay, so we've had a handful of shots there with G400, quite impressed with it, a couple of shots left, that's my bad at the moment, I'm sure I'll do the same with the Max, uh, let's just see if, if it affects ball flight in any way. Straight away when I set up at the club, it does look quite a lot bigger. That footprint is certainly bigger, and for me it does ooze uh, forgiveness, it, it's almost like I'm playing squash with a tennis racket, do like the look of that. If you're looking for confidence, there's already a start here, it's more confidence straight away as I look down at the club versus that G400. Let's have a little look at how it performs. Again, handful of shots using same ball, telemade TP5. That felt good. Very nice. That was a bad shot off the toe of the club there. We'll see how the forgiveness looks on this one. Okay, so a handful of shots with each club. Once again, it just gives you that confidence, oozing with confidence as I look down at that head. It is nice and big. This is a good footprint, 460 centiliters. One thing I would say, it does feel to me like when it is a big head like that, I might lose a bit of distance purely because, uh, again, there's a MOI, the weight's a bit further back, high MOI maybe a little bit less, a bit more spin maybe if that weight travels forward, maybe a bit higher launching, but again you can get custom fit and you can make sure you get the right shaft, the right loft, the right spec to create the right numbers for you. What we'll do, we'll just go over and have a little look behind the desk and, and just see some of the numbers here, see what happens. 
So straight away as I'm looking at these numbers, first of all, we're not seeing too much difference in ball speed, 144 off the max, 145 off the uh, 400. There is literally 0.4 of a mile an hour difference in ball speed. That's pretty consistent. So we know the ball's not coming off after I wouldn't have expected it to. Launch angle, launched it a little bit higher with the max. Well, that I think that's down to that slightly bigger footprint, the weight, central gravity moving forward a bit more at impact helping that ball get airborne. So again, that's a good sign if you're struggling to get the ball airborne. The Max has certainly helped me on that front versus the standard G400. Spin rate. Now, one thing I found on all of these shots, spin rate is quite high. For me, I like to get my spin round at 2,000 to 2. These were all up at 2.7. They were good strikes. There's only one a little bit toey. So the higher spin that I would choose for, but what it generally means is a bit more spin, a bit more control. I'd like to see that come down a little bit. Don't forget the LS low spinning version is available. I'd probably put that in as my choice. This is, the, this is the interesting bit. On both the shots, carry pretty much identical. Total distance pretty much identical. Yes, it's gone out to 260. Carry distance has been pretty good. Looking at the two of them, we're not giving anything away. We're just gaining some forgiveness. If you can see, blue line is the max. Red line is the G400. A little bit off, off center, off line with the 400. So it felt very similar swings, but I got more accuracy with the G Max. Okay, this is a simple one for me. G Max, G400 Max has given me a bit more control, same distance. Great looking club. If you're looking for help, looking for a bit of forgiveness, you might be a slight high handicapper and not fancying the smaller footprint of the 440 on the standard G400. This is definitely a no brainer. Hope you've enjoyed that quick review. Once again, thanks for watching. Please click like, subscribe, share these videos around, and I'll be doing more very, very soon. Thanks again. See you soon. Hit the like button now. Hit the like button now. Yes.